Marcus, is just knowing what you wanted to accomplish in this postseason, knowing that you understood your role as soon as you got signed, was this the moment that you were waiting for, or expecting of yourself? Mm, no, nah, I can't really say that. Uh, you know, I, I honestly expected to play a little bit more, um, not just today, just like throughout the series. Um, I thought I could have helped the team just affect the game a little more, but I mean, Hey, man, just being a veteran, just staying ready, man. Just, you know, that's always been me since I've been in the league, just staying ready, being professional. And then when my time's called, just being able to deliver and help my team. Evan, obviously 33 points for you tonight, a new playoff career high. What have you learned about yourself and the experience that the playoffs help you bring over this entire season? Um, I just got to stay in attack mode. Um, throughout the entire games. Uh, no matter what's going on, I feel like it just helps our team uh, a lot. And um, I feel like once I get to my spots, just elevate, uh, raise up. Uh, I feel like uh, my teammates have done a good job of instilling that confidence. Uh, definitely him right here, uh, been talking to me throughout the games and throughout the season, just help me um, just build that confidence to just keep attacking and keep attacking. And uh, I feel like today uh, I did a good job of that. Evan, I know probably the last thing you're thinking about is next year, but the way you performed against Boston, especially the way you capped off here, is that something that you can really take into the summer and build on moving forward? Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, the series, I'm uh, definitely going to remember it. Um, it stings a little bit, for sure, um, but also um, takes the pros to it and uh, how uh, I played throughout the series and uh, try to. Uh, take that into next season and uh, just build on my game as well and uh, come back just even better. Hey, Marcus and Evan, uh, this is for both of you. Uh, now that it's all over and you've seen what Boston has, what do you think of their title chances and do you think they have what it takes to win it all? Um, yeah, they're, they're a great team. Uh, they got a, a lot of different players that uh, can create a lot of different scenarios for them. Uh, they know how to uh, create mismatches and uh, attack them. So uh, they're a great team. And uh, it's going to be great to see them and, and see how far they go. Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, being a part of uh, a couple years back, being a part of this team with uh, a lot of the guys that's actually here now. Um, yeah, man, I think that uh, they got some great players over there, man. They got some dogs. I think that they definitely suited to make a good run. Um, they get big fella back, and I think it's it'd definitely a problem. And then just as a quick follow-up, Marcus, you go back with, with Tatum yeah. a, a bit. Um, how have you seen his game evolve this year? I think just the past year, I think it's just more than this, this year. Uh, he's been, like, super aggressive. He's been a leader. Um, it's, just, it's just good to watch him grow, man, like just having a relationship with him when he came in as a rookie. Um, and, you know, just seeing how, how quickly things change. And, you know, it, it's crazy that uh, big fella, he, he reminds me of him a lot. Like, just seeing him grow, just seeing him grow. And I, I've been a big fan of Ev um, for the few years he's been in the league. And I think that he has a really good chance to make that same leap that I've seen Tatum make. And, uh, you know, it's times like this, uh, being able to perform with these type of lights, uh, it allows you allows you to grow in, in, in the off season and, Coming into the next year, I think that uh, this guy right here is going to be—it's going to be a problem. Evan, just knowing that Jared's been out for a while now, this entire series, how has your comfortability grown as the starting center in a position that you hadn't really played a whole lot? Um, it's grown a lot. Um, it's a little bit different than uh, the four. Um, a little more actions you're in and, and involved in. And um, as I got more and more reps, um, I just grew real comfortable with it. Um, I was in a lot of different uh, plays, pick and rolls, pick and pops, and uh, second side actions and stuff like that. So um, I was just out there trying to embrace the role, trying to uh, bring what um, he brings to, uh, to the table and uh, help my team just win. Marcus, you touched on it, how good Evan has become and how much his ceiling is higher as it already is. What makes you think, what skill sets does he have that can take him to the next level? And also just being around him and how you've been able to instill that in him. Um, it's the versatility, um, being able to defend uh, really all five positions, being able to score it in the, you know, in the, mid, the mid post, on the post, and being able to stretch, stretch the defense. And, I think uh, obviously watching him 
play the five. Um, like, I really liked him at the five. I think that, you know, it showed his entire game, being able to get it off the glass, push it, set the pick and roll, ISO from the top. Um, I think, you know, he really grown. And it was a great opportunity, man, to be able to, like, you know, obviously we don't want injuries, but as a player for him, uh, J.A. going down and being able to step into a bigger role and be able to, like, really show everything you can do. Uh, Marcus, you have a long history, obviously, with JB. Yeah. Uh, he was dealt kind of a rough uh, hand with injuries, different lineups. Uh, can you talk about the job he did? And is he the guy uh, for this team moving forward? Yeah, I think everybody respects him. Um, I mean, obviously, it didn't end the, the way it did, but just to being able to, you know, deal with all the injuries the entire year, you know, perfect world. We have everybody, and we take this, this team to seven games. Um, but, you know, just to, for everything that, you know, that went wrong, that could have went wrong and still be resilient, still put together a great game plan. Last two games, we, you know, we fought. We got them, you know, got them where we wanted them. I mean, obviously, they got great players over there that have been in this position. So, I mean, you could kind of see that, you know. Uh, but, man, I think he's, a, he's the guy for the job, man. I, uh, you know, I have a great relationship with him. And outside of that, you know, he's a team guy. He's a player's coach. Um, I enjoyed my time here with him and the rest of the coaching staff uh, and just the entire organization, man. It was, it was really fun with a good opportunity to play. Okay,